Have you ever wanted to add animations to your PowerPoint slides but didn't know where to start? Or maybe you wanted to create a truly unique advanced animation on PowerPoint but didn't really know how to make that happen? Well, my friends, the time has come to create all of the PowerPoint animations that you have ever wanted. Welcome to my PowerPoint Animation Mastery course, a course that will turn you into a PowerPoint Animation Pro. Hello, my dear friends, my name is Kasper and I'm from Vilnius, Lithuania, and on YouTube I'm known as OneSkill. I've been creating PowerPoint tutorials for almost 10 years and I've helped millions of people to make their presentations super awesome. And I would like to share all of the PowerPoint animation secrets with you. The PowerPoint Animation Mastery course is a course I wish I had when I started my PowerPoint animation journey. Throughout this course you will learn everything you need to know to create breathtaking animations in PowerPoint. First, we'll start with the PowerPoint animation fundamentals and then gradually build your skills. You will learn how to animate with slight transitions, how to animate text, how to animate photos and videos, how to create animated intros, animated illustrations, animated infographics, how to create draw animations, how to animate with GIF images and so much more. By the end of this course, you'll be a PowerPoint animation pro and will be able to create any PowerPoint animation that you wish. And what's awesome is that this course is going to be constantly updated based on your feedback. Would you like to see more lessons on animated slide design or animated illustrations? Please let me know and I'll make that happen. And by the way, this course is perfect for everyone willing to take their PowerPoint presentations to the next level by mastering PowerPoint animations. Designers, business professionals, entrepreneurs, instructors, speakers, teachers and students will find this course extremely valuable. PowerPoint Animation Mastery course is suited both for PowerPoint beginners and more advanced users. We'll start off with PowerPoint Animation Fundamentals and then gradually learn how to create more advanced animations. Lesson slides are attached in the beginning of each chapter, so feel free to download lesson slides and follow along. And in case you have any questions, just post them in the discussion section beside each lesson and I'll help you out. And for the best course experience, I recommend having PowerPoint 2019 or 2021 or Microsoft 365. Using PowerPoint on Windows is recommended as well. You can work on a Mac, but only PowerPoint for Windows has the advanced animation timeline, which is going to be extremely useful once we start creating more advanced animations. Feel free to check out the course structure in greater detail, link is in the video description. And there are a couple of free lessons as well that you can watch right now. And by the way, a couple of final chapters will be added in the upcoming month and if you'd like to get the early access to the course, here's the coupon code that will get you a $100 discount, OneSkill100. Coupon is valid until the 1st of November, so make sure you use it while it's still valid. And now my friends, let me show you a couple of free lessons from the course that will teach you animation fundamentals. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you on the course where you can watch the rest of the lessons. Hello my friends and welcome to the first lesson where we will start with four main types of animations in PowerPoint. Open up lesson 1 slides and let's go. So first of all we have entrance animations and after that we have emphasis animations, next we have exit animations and finally we have motion path animations. Super duper awesome. Alright, so these are the four main types of animations that you can use in PowerPoint. You can use entrance animations when you would like to introduce something to your slide. It can be a picture, it can be a text, it can be a video. Anything that you would like to introduce to your slide. So once you have introduced some content into your slide, you might want to put some emphasis on it. And you can do that with emphasis animations. For example, you can spin anything that you wish. And when you would like to hide something or make it go away, in those cases you can use exit animations. That's nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And finally we have motion path animations. So basically you have to insert a path and your object will follow that path. The green bubble is the starting position and the red bubble is the ending position. You can grab any of those bubbles and adjust them according to your needs. And of course you're not limited only to motion path lines. You can insert motion path circle or any custom shape that you would like your object to follow. Ok my friends, so let's exit the slideshow and let's actually see how we can insert animations in PowerPoint. So as I have mentioned before, you can insert animations to pretty much anything that you have on your slides. A shape, a text box, a picture, a video, anything that you want. And now let's just select that little green star and let's go to animations tab. And here right away we can see a couple of animations that we can apply to our green star. These are entrance animations because they have green color. And by the way, these are just a couple of animations that you can use in PowerPoint. You can click on this little arrow and you will get a much bigger list of animations. 
And here, as you can see, we get the four main categories of animations that we have already talked about. The entrance animations, the emphasis animations. As you can see, some of the emphasis animations are disabled because those are applicable to text. And next, we have exit animations and motion path animations. And if you'd like to access even more animations, you can click on any of these buttons and get more awesome animations. So to insert an animation, make sure that your object is selected and click on any animation that you like. You can click on different animations and get a preview of how they look like. And by the way, if you don't see the animation preview in your PowerPoint, make sure that you go to this preview button and make sure that the auto preview is activated. OK, and now let's finally decide what kind of animation we would like to add to our little beautiful green star. And I think flying animation looks beautiful. And keep in mind that with pretty much all of the animations in PowerPoint, you get additional animation options. So for the flying animation, we can choose the flying direction and let's choose from top. And now a second way to add animations in PowerPoint is by using this button at animation. Just click on it. And here you can see all of the four main categories of animations that we saw before. You can scroll down to see motion paths as well. And this time, let's click on this button more entrance effects and let's see what do we get. And by the way, effects and animations have pretty much the same meaning in PowerPoint. And here we get a full list of entrance animations that are broken down into four categories, a basic, subtle, moderate and exciting. And once again, you can click on any of these animations to get a preview if your animation or to preview is activated. Now, let me share with you most commonly used animations from each of the sections so based on my experience. So from the basic section, flying animation is useful. On the subtle section, fade animations and zoom animations are a popular choice. Now on the moderate section, basic zoom animation and flow down animation are a couple of nice animations to introduce some content into your slide. Now the exciting animations are really exciting, but make sure you don't overuse them. I usually don't use exciting animations, but for example, pinwheel animation is a great way to introduce some photos into your slides. And by the way, my friends, let me give you one more piece of advice regarding adding multiple animations to the same shape. So as you can see, this little green star already has a single animation. This is a flying animation. And let's say you'd like to add a second animation to the same star, for example, spin animation. So make sure that once you're adding a second animation, you're not using this uh, animation list on the left side. Because let's say you would click on the spin animation. As you can see, this spin animation just replaces the previous animation. And we don't want that to happen. So let's just hit Ctrl Z to undo that. And let's make sure that the star is selected and let's use this button at animation. And now let's just click on spin. And as you can see this way, we have successfully added a second animation. So whenever you want to add multiple animations to the same object, make sure that you're using this button at animation and everything is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, my friends, and next let me show you how you can check what kind of animations you have already applied to anything on your slide. So here we have this awesome button called Animation Pane. You can click on it and here you can see all of the animations that are existing on your slide. And as you can see, currently we have inserted just a single animation which was applied to that little green star. And if you hover over the animation, you'll get some additional information. We can see that this animation starts on a click. It belongs to the entrance animation category and the animation itself is called Fly In. And here at the top, you can choose how your animation starts. It can start on a keyboard click or on a mouse click. It can start with previous, which means it will play automatically once the slideshow loads or with the previous animation, if you already have some animations. And after previous means that this animation will play after the previous animation. And as well, we have animation duration, animation delay and animation triggers. But let's not worry about these things for now. We will worry about them just a little bit later on. But don't worry, everything is going to be all right. And for now, let's just continue with emphasis animations. And once again, let's click on the add animation button. And this time, let's choose an emphasis animation. Let's choose spin. The little yellow star is spinning. That's super awesome. Let's jump into the animation pane. And here, as you can see, now we have a second animation, which is a spin animation. So let's try starting this animation after previous. OK, so it should play automatically after the first animation. And the first animation, as you remember, was the flying animation. Now for the spin animation, let's reduce its duration to one second so that it spins faster. And now in the spin animation options, you can choose a direction of the spin and amount of the spin. So let's leave it at clockwise and a full spin. 
And now let's click on the play from button to preview the animations and as you can see first the flying animation happens and after that we get the spin animation, super duper awesome. And you can always change how your animation starts, so let's change the spin animation to mouse click. So on the first click we should get a flying animation, so let's click once, here it is, that's nice. And on a second click we get the spin animation. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ok my friends, and next let's animate our little red star, let's make sure we select it, let's go to add animation and let's pick any exit animation that we want, for example zoom out animation. And as you can see the star zooms and it disappears, that's awesome. And finally let's add a motion path animation to this last star, let's make sure it is selected, let's scroll down to the motion path animations and to keep it simple let's choose a motion path line animation, ok? And let's just change the direction so that it goes up, so let's choose up, looking beautiful. And as I mentioned before, the green bubble is the starting position and the red bubble is the ending position. So we can just grab that red bubble and adjust the ending position to anywhere that we wish, for example right here, ok? And now this is how the motion path animation looks right now. And now let me show you something a little bit more advanced, let's just right click on the motion path animation and let's go to the effect options. So here we get a couple of additional animation options that we could use, but let's not worry about everything and for now let's just focus on Autoverse, let's make sure that we activate it. So now that the Autoverse is activated, the star will go to the ending position and after that it will come back, that's awesome. Congratulations my friends, in this lesson you have learned about the four main categories or types of animations in PowerPoint and you have successfully animated four beautiful stars. But the world of PowerPoint animations doesn't end here, there are so many ways and tools to animate in PowerPoint and in the next lesson you'll learn 4 more additional ways to animate in PowerPoint, I'll see you there. Hello my friends and welcome to the second lesson where you will learn 4 more awesome ways to create animations in PowerPoint. Open up lesson 2 slides if you'd like to follow along and let's go. So the first additional category of animations in PowerPoint are text animations. Next if your PowerPoint has the draw feature you can use draw animations and if you have 3D models you can use 3D animations and finally we have multiple animations. So the text animations belong to the emphasis animations and these animations can be applied only to text, so make sure that your text is selected and then you'll be able to animate that text. Next if your PowerPoint version has the draw feature you can of course draw anything that you wish and then you can replay that animation or you can rewind that animation, so basically have an entrance animation and an exit animation that you can apply to your drawings, that's super awesome. And if your PowerPoint supports 3D models, that's great news as well, because with 3D models and PowerPoint you get 3 categories of animations, you get specific animations for entrance, emphasis and exit that you can apply to 3D models. And finally you can add multiple animations to the same object and this way create custom animations. So for example this little blue star has two animations applied to it, so first of all there is a motion path line animation and at the same time there is a spin animation going on, that's super awesome. Ok my friends, so let's exit the slideshow and let's test out these animations, so first of all let's make sure that we select this text box. And now we can go to the animations tab, let's expand all of these animations and here under the emphasis categories you can see all of the text animations have been activated. And you have a couple of text animations that you can choose from, you can change the color of your text or you can add this little wave animation to make your text a little bit more dynamic. And as you already know you can always jump to the animation pane and see what kind of animations you have already added to your slide. And so far we have just a single text animation, our beautiful text wave animation. And by the way you can grab this red bubble and adjust how high your text will be waving. Ok my friends and next let's see how the draw animations are working, so if you have the draw tool in your pop-on version just go to the draw tab, click on any pen that you wish, choose the thickness of the pen and then just draw anything that you wish, for example this scribble line, ok? And now let's make sure that our little scribble line is selected and let's jump to the animations tab and here as you can see we get two additional ink animations, a replay animation and a rewind animation, so let's just apply a replay animation and as you can see PowerPoint replays our drawing, that's super awesome. You could as well choose rewind animation and PowerPoint does it backwards, that's magic. And since I have already drawn this little star with the draw tool we can apply a replay animation to this star, so let's click on replay and let's see how it looks like, that's nice. And now let's jump back to the draw tool, select the white pen, let's choose the thickness and let's just draw a couple of motion lines here on the side of our little star just for fun. 
And by the way, if you don't like what you have drawn, you can always hit Ctrl Z to undo until you get what you want. Ok, now let's select these little motion lines and let's go to animations and let's just apply a replay animation. And if we would glance at the animation pane right now, we would see that we have three animations already. That's nice. So first we have the text animation and after that we have a replay animation for the star and then the replay animation for those motion lines. And you can always change the speed of any animation by changing the duration of that animation. So for those little star lines, let's try using one second instead of two seconds. And let's just set the start of the animation to after previous, which means that first the star will replay and after that those little motion lines. Everything seems to be working according to the plan. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ok my friends, and next let's jump into the world of 3D animations in PowerPoint. And here I have a little space shuttle 3D model. And of course you can use that uh, handle in the middle to uh, change the angle of your 3D model. You can insert uh, stock models or any other 3D model that you for example download from the internet. And as you can see in the animations tab we get some special 3D animations. So we have one uh, entrance animation, three emphasis animations and one exit animation. So let's try this turntable animation. And as you can see the space shuttle is spinning around but it's doing that really slowly because it has 20 seconds to do that. So let's change it to for example 4 seconds and now as you can see the space shuttle is turning around much faster. Alright my friends and finally let's create a custom animation by applying multiple animations to the same shape. And in this case I have just grouped two little blue stars into a single group. Let's make sure that that group is selected and first of all let's add a motion path line animation to these uh, blue stars. And let's just make sure that our blue stars are going upwards and we can do that by dragging on the red bubble. Alright. And now in the animation pane let's make sure that we double click on the motion path line animation to access the animation options and let's activate the auto reverse option. So that the blue stars go up and after that the auto reverse and they come back. And now my friends let's add one more animation to these blue stars. So let's make sure that they are selected and let's go to this button add animation. And this time let's try adding a spin animation. Alright. Now let's jump back to the animation pane, let's select the spin animation and let's make sure it starts with previous which means it will start together with the motion path line animation. And now as you can see the motion path line animation is twice as long as you can see that blue bar is twice as long as the spin animation. And the reason for that is that as you remember we have activated the auto reverse option for the motion path line. So it takes twice as much time for this animation to complete. So let's just change the motion path line animation duration to one second and now both of the animations should start and end at the same time. And now my friends, since we have added multiple animations to these blue stars, PowerPoint itself shows us that we have added multiple animations and have created a custom animation that consists of a motion path and a spin animation. Super duper awesome. And now my friends, let me share a little bit of extra information about the animation smoothing. This is a topic that we will cover a little bit later on. But for now let's just add some smoothness to these uh, blue star animations and we can drag the smooth end slider to the maximum both for the motion path line animation and both for the spin animation. And this way the animations of our little blue stars will look much softer and smoother. Skadoosh! Congratulations my friends, in this lesson you have learned about 4 more awesome ways to animate in PowerPoint. So that is text animations, draw animations, 3D model animations and multiple animations. If you would have any questions, please write them in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. And you know what's coming in the next lesson? Even more amazing tools and ways to animate on PowerPoint. So I'll meet you there. Ok my friends, let's start creating those super duper awesome animations and I'll see you on the course.